Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is uh, what is taxoplasma test. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and uh, share the videos on this channel. Now the uh, toxoplasma test, uh, it's a blood test, you know, and uh, it determines if you have uh, serum antibodies to the uh, toxoplasma gone by parasite you know and uh, it's also called the toxoplasmosis test you know uh, you know uh, the body only makes these um, uh, antibodies after you have been infected by this parasite you know and uh, the number and the type of the antibodies you have indicate uh, whether your infection was uh, like recent or occurred some time ago you know and your doctor may conduct more than one blood test over a period of several weeks you know and the most adults in case of for most adults you know uh, toxoplasmosis is uh, harmless and goes away without uh, the need for the treatment and if a pregnant woman becomes infected uh, the infection may pass to the fetus you know and this can cause brain damage or the blindness uh, in the growing child you know now to detect uh, to see if your uh, baby has become infected your doctor can uh, test the sample of the amniotic fluid uh, amniotic fluid is uh, the fluid that surrounds the baby in the womb you know and work as a cushion you know and uh, you are at high risk of infection by um, tea gondai when you eat raw or undercooked meat for uh, from an uh, infected animal you know and you may also uh, catch it uh, by handling an infected cat or its feces you know so which can happen when cleaning their litter box you know and after you uh, become infected uh, you will have the tea gondai antibodies as long as you live you know and uh, this generally means that uh, you cannot be infected again now the next question is uh, why do i need uh, this test you know you know your doctor may wish to conduct the toxoplasmosis test to determine if uh, you are pregnant and have uh, take on antibodies you know and number two your baby has toxi uh, toxoplasmosis you know and your doctor may want to test if you have a weakened immune system due to an illness that puts you at greater risk of like contracting the toxoplasmosis such as HIV you know and the next question is uh, how do someone prepare for the toxoplasma test you know well there's no preparation needed you know and uh, you should let your doctor know if you have been in contact with cat or or if you clean litter box you know and you should also tell your doctor if uh, you have the problems with the clotting or the bleeding disorders you know or uh, if you take the blood thinners you know like aspirin etc you know and uh, to test uh, an adult or child uh, for this uh, uh, take eye your doctor or the nurse will take a sample of blood from your arm and uh, giving blood sample involves the uh, like uh, it's very simple you know like uh, uh, it's a normal routine test you know and uh, if you are pregnant and currently have an uh, toxoplasmosis infection you know uh, there is a 30 percent chance that your baby may become infected will become infected you know and uh, uh, your doctor will need to perform further tests you know uh, you know like uh, amniocentesis you know like uh, your doctor can perform this test after the first 15 weeks of pregnancy you know and uh, your doctor will use uh, very fine needle to remove the small amount of fluid from the uh, amniotic sac you know so which is a sac that uh, surrounds the baby and uh, the lab will then test the fluid for the signs of toxoplasmosis. So the next test is ultrasound that may doctor your, uh, your doctor may advise you know 
and uh, you know the ultrasound uh, cannot diagnose uh, toxoplasmosis it can show the signs that uh, uh, your baby might have an infection such as uh, a fluid built up on the brain you know so this way this test is helpful too now the question is are there any risk factors which are associated with the toxoplasma test well as with any blood test there are minimal risk factors uh, of minor bruising at the site of a needle you know and uh, in rare cases the vein may swell and become in inflamed after blood draw you know and uh, applying a warm compression uh, to the swollen part uh, several times per day can treat this condition you know which is uh, known as uh, philbitis you know uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can uh, visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and one thing that uh, i was uh, going to forget is that uh, how to interpret the results you know now, well your results will be ready for after three days you know three to four days and uh, mm -hmm. The units used when measuring the result are known as the liters, uh, so titers, you know. And uh, a titer is the amount of the salt water needed to dilute the uh, blood until no more antibodies can be detected, you know. And uh, toxoplasm smosis antibodies from within two weeks after an infection and the uh, titer will reach the highest level one or two months after the infection. And if the lab analysis finds uh, a titer of 1 uh, to 16 to uh, 1 to 56, you know, this means that you probably have had uh, infection, you know, in the past, you know. And uh, a titer of uh, 1 ratio 1 and uh, 0 to 4 or greater is uh, probably the sign of an infection. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, uh, uh, condition you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com.